Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. As you can see, I'm down here with all of my shoes. So I'm going to be doing a shoe haul for you, a shoe collection. I don't know what it's called. Without further ado, let's get, I look so weird. Let's get into it, okay. So basically, I'm just going to be going in the order of like the style of shoe and then when I got the shoe. So it's going to go from first purchase to most recent purchase throughout the whole video. Um, these shoes are my teal bands. I got them when I was in seventh grade, I'd like to say. I don't know. Haven't worn them in a while. They're fun. They're cute. They're blue. Gang gang. My favorite color. Okay. Perfect. Love. So these next bands were ones that I got for Christmas in 2015, I would like to say. I'm not really sure for a fact. Um, they have little flowers on them. I don't wear them because they have like six or five eyelets and I think that's really ugly. The other ones before this one had three and I like that style more. Um, so yeah, I got these for Christmas. They have flowers on them. I don't wear them often because of the inside. It's kind of torn out and it's not comfortable so I just don't touch them. Wait, cool. Love. Oh, break it down. So these next bands were my favorite shoes ever in the universe for the entirety of 8th grade. I wore them every single day of my life, tied them up every single day of my life, wore them to dance, wore my hip hop shoes, everything. But they're a size 8 and I'm a size like 6.5 and, and I asked him for a 6.5 and, and apparently that's an 8 in men's or something and he brought me an 8 and I was like oh my god I love them so I just took them home and I looked like a clown and then I figured out that I looked like a clown and I stopped wearing them so yeah depressing but I love these shoes they were amazing thanks shoes so I said the last shoes were my favorite shoes but I think I lied um these take the cake these are my favorite shoes ever in the universe I wore them to death there are holes all over them it's crazy I got them in ninth grade they're my favorite like they really are my favorite the sole is turn out there, I don't, you can't see, oh, oh, hey there, hey guys, but um, yeah, those shoes are great, I love them a lot, and so they were really torn, and I was sad because I love them, so, I got another pair, here's what I'm going to go with them right now, <laughs> kind of funny, but yeah, same pair, this is the only shoes I've ever bought duplicates of, so yeah, love them a lot. So these next shoes, I used to love a lot. I would wear them all the time when I when I would try to dress like more fancy for school or something in like sophomore year because that's when I got them. Um, but then the laces got frayed and I had to get new ones and they gave me these really weird thick laces that are like super long. So whenever I tie them, I have to tie them into four knots and that's why I don't wear them anymore because it's too much work. Um, these are slides. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I bought them and it was nice. Period. Thanks. That's it. <laughs> So these next shoes are super cute, but they're super hard to get on. Like, I have to unlike lace the whole entire shoe to get it on, and it takes a lot of work. But um, I love these shoes, they're super cute. These are the shoes that I wore when I broke my foot, because it was a platform and I only wore one shoe, so one of them was different than the other. They're super cute, I love them a lot, and yeah. These shoes were kind of just like a David Dobrik thing for me. David had them, I wanted to get every single pair of Vans in the basic black and white format before I got any of the cool ones, um, not before, but like just, what am I trying to do? Um, but yeah, I got them in this year, junior year. Now these are my favorite pair, like aesthetically with every outfit the, of Vans that I own, cause they're just so cute. I love the platform, like I'm a sucker for platforms. I love the check on the side. It's just fun. It's black and white, like every other shoe that I own, almost. And it's just nice. Like I only get black and white shoes and these are just perfect. They're cute, but not crazy, amazing. These are my Burks. I only have one pair. I went to Nordstrom in Chicago to get these because I just love the gunmetal color. So I went to go get them. They're kind of like specially made, but yeah, they're not comfortable for me, so I don't wear them that often. But yeah, my Burks. So these shoes are, I think, I'm not sure, the oldest in the collection. Um, I love my Converse. They're amazing. They're, I just love Converse. I've had these for so long. They're so worn out. Like, there's no support in them because they're Converse, but they're just, they're so sad, but I love them. Like, they're worn to death, but they're so cute. I love them. But yeah, these next shoes, I don't even want to talk about it. I got excited in, like, what, seventh grade and created some, and I begged my mom for so long to get me these, like, to price the order because I made the shoes but they were just sitting on the website and I was like oh, they're so cute they have my name on the back of them they say raven in blue that's my favorite color but um I never wear them because they're really ugly I wore them for Jojo Siwa day but that's about it but um yeah they're my shoes okay period okay so this is sorry random um not really random but kind of random I had a black pair an all black monochrome pair I loved them a lot they were so cute gang gang I wore them all the time in seventh grade when I was emo but I don't know where they are, so they're not in the video. So don't be a hater. 
Sorry about it. If those are your favorite kind of shoes ever in the universe, I'm sorry you couldn't see them today. But still subscribe though because gang. Okay, bye. I love you guys. <laughs> so these are my um, Nikes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was looking for a singular pair of Nikes for my whole entire 7th grade year. Couldn't find them. Found these, fell in love, got them. They were a hit. Everybody in middle school loved them. I was like, oh my gosh, guys, stop. But um, yeah, I love these shoes. I don't wear them anymore. They're pretty old. I got some new ones, but I love these shoes. Period. That's it. Ugh. I could just say ugh and keep going, but I'm gonna elaborate. So I hate these shoes. Worst shoes ever. I've worn them two times. They don't fit. They're too big. They look really stupid on my feet because they have really flat feet. They look cute on other people, but not me. I hate them. I got them because they were like a fad in seventh grade and I just hate them. Okay, so on the topic of ugly shoes, these ones, oh, I'm just kidding. Um, Well, not really. I got these for dance. They're the, um, I don't remember what they're called. Roches, Ro Ro something. Um, but they're monochrome. Got them for dance, just like I got the all black Converse for dance. I hate them. They make my feet hurt. But some people like, like them and they still look cute in them. So power to you, all right? These, I hate them. Okay, bye. <laughs> So these shoes, interesting story, I got them back in the summer of 2017, I think, for Summer Gym, um, because Liza Ko, she had them for her Jet character, and I was like, oh my god, period. I loved her, not much anymore, but I went and got them, and period. I love them to this day. They're great. Thanks, Lunar Lance. <laughs> so um, these shoes, my Air Force Ones, love them. They're a staple, kind of. Jay-Z kind of made them popular back in the 2007s. Um, yeah, super cute. I got them last summer because that's when they were like popular i'm a big trend follower if you haven't noticed um and yeah i really want the jesters now that i've seen the jesters because they're a little flat but these are still cute love them thanks nike these shoes are um interesting i like them i liked them they're the first pair of docs that were got so i was like really excited really ecstatic um they're scuffed because they're white and they're like pleather or something i don't know but um, yeah, I liked them a lot in seventh grade when I got them, but it's not seventh grade anymore. So yeah, period. So these shoes I truly adored. Um, I got them for Christmas in 2016. My mom got them for me. Even I was gonna ask, but she had already wrapped them under the tree, which is crazy. But yeah, I don't wear them as much anymore because I'm a little older now and the heel is a little short, which is weird, but it is to me, so. <laughs> So these ones, I got these last year. Um, it's a little bit interesting because I'm not sure if, I don't wear them ever because I'm not sure if they're fake or not. Can somebody tell me if these are fake Doc Martens or not? I'm not sure. I got them from shoes.com because it was a nice deal, but like, are they fake? I don't know. So let me know if you're a little Doc Martin expert. Comment, DM me, I don't care. But tell me if they're fake or not, please, thanks. So these are my skull crushing boots. I adore them. They look so bad A. <laughs> But they're just so cool. I love them. They're a little dusty, so this is me brushing them off. I don't know why they're dusty, because I wear them all the time. But um, yeah, they're so cute. I love them. Like, they're so cute. I got it for my birthday, period. Yeah, they're so cute. But like, my foot looks big. I can't tell if my foot looks big or small on them, because I got a size seven, I'm a size six and a half. So I think everything in me just looks big, because these don't come in half sizes, so it's really annoying. But thanks, Docs, you're great. So these shoes are my most recent purchase of shoe, like in the whole video. Um, they're so cute, I love them. They're perfect for summer, they're amazing sandals. My favorite sandals I have. I don't have any other sandals. So period, um, they're so cute. I wish I could have tied them correctly so they would have been cuter and I wish I could have painted my freaking toes so it wouldn't look so ugly. Cause I hate my feet already. And the fact that my toes aren't painted is even worse. Um, yeah, these are the Nartillas, super cute. Thanks guys, I got them in spring break this year, yes. So these are the star of the show, my Buffalo Londons. Gorge, love them, I got them last, no, this summer? Something like that, I don't know. This fall, I don't know, I love them. The most expensive shoe, these are the only ones that I really call luxury because they're kind of just a more expensive, more popular among celebrities brand. Um, I love them, they're so cute. Like, they're adorable, but they're kind of impractical, but they're so cute, they're amazing. They look so cute in this light, go off. Really, just go off. Like, you're adorable. Okay, period. Ugh, I do the Pee Wee Herman dance in these a lot, so that's why I fell down the stairs once. <laughs> so these are my Uggs, obviously. Um, they're the bow. They're Bailey bows, I don't, what are they called? Bow, I don't know. I had a pair when I was really little, but I got another one last Christmas. Um, yep, they're for the winter. I don't wear them then either, but period. <laughs> These shoes are so ugly, like literally drown me, like kill me, like the ugliest shoes ever in my life. They're Michael Kors, I don't know what they are, rain boots. Um, I got excited because they're Michael Kors, so I bought them. They're from that one store, 
that's like cheap. Max, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, perfect. Um, yeah, I got them from TJ Maxx. They're really ugly. I've worn them once, maybe, at most. These are my pride and joy. Um, six inch, eight inch, I'm not sure. Four inch, maybe, five and a half, not sure. I wore these to homecoming in ninth grade, but they're my favorite shoes ever. They're killer. They're the tallest shoes that I have today, but they're like, they could be taller. Like, I love them. Like, I'll walk around the house in these. Like, I look for places to wear these too. I love them. They're not practical, but homecoming, period. So this is another purchase from TJ Maxx. These ones are kind of cuter though. So, yeah, there's a lot of dust on them because like, they're velvet and I tried to like, brush them off. So that's what you're seeing on there, the literally dust. Not all of it, but like the clumps of like, white stuff that's dust. But they're so cute. I love them. I wear them for like, presentations and stuff at school. Yeah, TJ Maxx. I don't know what brand they are. I don't even think they are a brand, but yeah, love them. Great. So these are another pair of homecoming shoes. These were sophomore year homecoming, I think. Yes. Yeah, sophomore year homecoming. Um, they're really low and that makes me sad, but they're really cute other than that. Like the heel could be twice the size it is now. Like one of my pet peeves is kitten heels. They make me throw up in my mouth. So don't do a kitten heel if you're near me. But yeah, they're cute. They're Steve's? No, they're something. I don't know, but yeah, they're cute. Love them. Thank DSW. So sweet to me. <laughs> these were my choir shoes for sophomore year. Um, it's like, these hurt so bad. These are the shoes that you get, like, when you only have three seconds to get a shoe before the deadline and all the stores are closing and you have to have them by tomorrow and they have to be black and it's just a lot. But yeah. These shoes are gorge. I think they're Steve. I'm not sure, but I got them for homecoming for Southview. My old school. Well, I probably shouldn't say the name, but I don't go there anymore. Um, yeah, Southview Homecoming, 2018, 19. No, yeah, October, 2018. So yeah, so cute. I love my homecoming shoes. I kind of do good in the homecoming department with the shoes. Like I kind of slap. Oh my gosh, these are my other homecoming shoes for my new school that I went to this year because I switched schools. So my one friends from Southview invited me to theirs, and my new friends from my school I went to that one obviously because that's the school that I go to. Um, these are cute. I wish I would have tied them correctly in the back so it wouldn't be so janky looking. But I love them. They're so cute. They're from Lulu's. Um, thanks, Lulu, for those shoes. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about them. They're, they're heels. Okay, they tie. Love. Thanks. So these are some cute, chunky heel casual boots, heels from H&M. I don't go to H&M very often, but I went once during winter break, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get these shoes. So I saved up and came back. They're pretty cheap. They're like 34 bucks. But yeah, love them. They're adorable. Fun. I wear them all the time with my broken foot great <laughs> I'm crazy so these are my last pair for this video and actually the first pair I bought of the heels in this collection um yeah these were for eighth grade formal so that's fun but I was dancing in this clip because I was so excited this was the last pair that I had to like try on for everybody um so I was dancing I made a little song and I was singing to it and stepping because I had been tying shoes for two whole hours like I have so many shoes like it's it's nice, but it's not when you show them all in a video and like tie them all every time because I have no like easy put on shoes. They're all just hard. So yeah, thanks for watching. Love. Lover girls. Thanks for watching. That's the end. It took me an hour. Brayden, how many shoes did you count? I didn't count them yet. He didn't count them yet, but there's too many on the floor. Thank you for watching. Um. Yeah, like and subscribe if you want. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. My boob looks good right here. Get it on the floor. Get it, get it. Get it on the yeah. floor. Hey, hey, yo, hey. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. Stay gorgeous! <laughs> I'm going insane. I've tied so many shoes today. My name is Shoe. Your Raven Shoe Miller. Your name sucks. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay, bye. Now watch me trip. Now watch me trip. Now watch me cry, cry.